Hi, Jim Gore from Thor Wealth Management. Today I'm going to be talking about the bond market, more specifically about the credit aspect of the market that gives us some concern. This is a proprietary analysis here at Thor that we look at if it's a good time to be in credit or not. Negative three is the worst, and that means you don't want to have any credit risk in your portfolio. Positive three is the time that you want to take on credit risk. Now, what is credit risk? If you will, think of high yield junk bonds, if you will, corporations that you may not be able to get back the money that you lent them in a bond because a company could go bankrupt. That's taking risk on the entity being able to pay you back. That is what credit risk is. Um, and conversely, treasuries are deemed to be no credit risk because it's backed by full faith and credit of the United States government. Um, so right now, our indicators are showing that you want to be very careful in putting high yield bonds into your portfolio. Uh, another indicator that is showing that is the spreads of high yield treasuries or high yield bonds versus treasuries. The left hand side of this shows that we are near the, one of the lowest points we've ever been. You're not getting paid a lot uh, over treasuries to own high yield bonds. And as a matter of fact, the two other times that it was a little bit lower were 1998, 1999, and 2007, 2008 which were very bad time to own high yield bonds because the spread widened, which means that you lost money, especially compared to treasuries. And this time on the right hand part of this is showing that we're in the fifth percentile. Um, so this only happens 5% of the time that it gets as low. This is not a time that you wanna load up on high yield bonds. And a lot of people don't look at their fixed income portfolio to understand the risk that they're taking. Something else that concerns us about this is if you look at what happened, you know, I mentioned 2008 and 2009, that the spread was very narrow, but the bonds themselves were a lot different than where they are today. And if you look at this chart, the blue line is high yield bonds, and there's what is known as leveraged loans, bank loans that are high yield companies that have taken out a bank loan and then the bank resells those loans. And that part of the market has grown, but the yellow is really what I want, line that I wanna talk about, which is covenant like uh, bonds. Basically, what this is saying is that 80% of the bonds right outstanding right now have no covenants, which basically means that there's really very little protection for you as a bondholder. A covenant prevents the company from putting on too much debt on their books. They have to prepay the debt or they have to keep their debt to equity ratio in line. And right now, these companies can borrow, 80% of them can borrow without worrying about doing anything in the business. There's no constraints on them. Uh, but that's not good from a bondholder because you want to put some constraints on there to protect your portfolio. So right now, if you look at it, we're at 80%. Back in 2008, when it was this low for the, the spread, we had only 20% were covenant light. So 80% of bonds had really good covenants in there to protect you as a bondholder. Today, you're not getting that. So you have to be very, very careful. So we've been at this a long time. Uh, we, we can tell you that the fixed income market is a lot more difficult to invest in than the equity market. Uh, the smartest people we've ever met in the business have been fixed income managers um, compared to equity managers. Not saying they're smart, but on the fixed income side, um, they're definitely a notch above. And what we're hearing right now is that this is one of the hardest markets to do credit work. Uh, this is not a time to invest in large high yield bond funds or ETFs. Um, we do own a, a small portion in a high yield bond fund, but it's you know actively managed. Uh, they don't have a lot of money in assets under management, so they're not gonna get impacted because they just have to buy the general bond market and they can take advantage of buying into some of these instruments that they can make some money on. And it's shorter term instruments, more conservatively managed. Um, you should look at your fixed income portfolio. Right now, people don't understand the risk that they're taking. Um, if you are taking uh, excessive credit risk in your portfolio, this is something you want to lighten up. If you need help, as always, reach out to us, give us a call, and we'll see if we can help you. Um, we wish everyone well, and we'll talk to you in a couple weeks. Take care.